HomeExchange.com is real. And we started just searching on it. You can just surf around and kind of search for home, places you'd like to go or places, homes of people who'd like to come to Portland. And then we got a little more serious about it. And you can join. You have a membership if you want to contact people. Last summer, Brad and Trina Robertson switched places with two families in Denmark. For six weeks, they switched homes, cars, even neighbors. It felt good to be part of the community. Mm -hmm. You know, you, yeah. you met the neighbors. And we, ever, you know, we'd have dinner with the neighbors probably three or four nights a week out outside. Yeah, there's this huge communal garden with like 20 mm -hmm. houses surrounding well, that was it. That's fun, huh, Penny? Penny, like the rabbits in the backyard. It's a unique way to travel because, in a sense, you're switching lives. You can stay in a hotel, you can have room service and watch CNN, or you can go to somebody's house and experience how they live, uh, you know, and, and just get a taste for how someone lives in Copenhagen. And all you pay is your flight there. Your stay is free. To get started, you must become a member, pay a $100 a year fee, then post pictures of your home, information about you and your family, and where you'd like to travel. Then wait and see where the site takes you. Kira, nice to uh, yes. nice to meet you. Nice to, even if nice it to is. see you after, our, after emailing. <laughs> yeah. Next up for the Robertsons, a trip to New York City. They'll stay in a condo, home to a family of four, which means lots of toys for their kids to play with and child care. We also have babysitting we can hook up with on our side. The Robertsons suggest talking with the family you're swapping with over email or Skype several times to get to know them, but they do claim they've never felt uncomfortable allowing strangers in their home. I was skeptical that anyone would want to come from Europe to kind of steal the silverware out of our, out of our kitchen. Um, and it just, it, it never really crossed our minds that, you know, our stuff would be personally at risk, you know, and it wasn't. The house was in great shape. You're staying there. in their house. And you know where they live. Consider it a small price to pay to see the world. Brad told us when they traveled to Copenhagen, they saved nearly $14,000 by doing the home exchange versus a hotel. If you're interested in becoming a member, the website is homeexchange.com.